Good morning, folks. It's about uh, 5.30 in the morning. I am in the bed with my little devices and my stuff strolled all about. Um, trying to see, can I, my little charge, my little cheap chargers, and my um, little camcorder. Mm, costs about $39 at Walmart. You know, Walmart is tannic, but you still find some things that you need. I'm going to make this video about how these stores, no matter where I go, and I do that over and over again, I like recording evidence of how um, these stores uh, stick me up. And how this God said these merchants, this satanic system, would have to come down. Now, um, they're messing with my pixels on this phone um, and on my little uh, camcorder but as you know I like to provide lots of evidence and uh, uh, show you what's going on now as I told you in the past when I made the video about how everything is already um, they got everything set up to work in their favor now um, I just took this with my little camcorder of my phone and I just put in a new 64 GB uh, SD card and I noticed that I told you the SD cards are already set up to a uh, bug us too and uh, I noticed that it says out of the 64 GB I have uh, 59.46 GB so, they've already used, what is that, um, maybe 5 uh, GB for their spyware they already got installed. So, I was going to uh, see what, where that storage, that 5 GB is. So, I went to, let me see, can I go down? I went to, to install the int it's the external storage, the SD card, and it says I have Google.com, no, com.google Android documents. And uh, now I started, um, I just put this SD card in about uh, 5 10 a.m. And this Google com.google android documents went on my phone at 5 29 a.m. so I wanted to see what was it uh, where the storage was going and it says no items no items so uh, while I was storing the card and looking at the, the let me see can I do this while I was looking at the uh storage capacity, Google and Android came into my phone and installed some files. So I went to Android and uh, then I went to, it said no media. I went to no media and it says can't open file. So I can't see what they installed and uh, when I went to Android, it said uh, lost document. Lost directory. Lost directory. So, I went to see what's in the lost directory. And it says, too, that can't open file. So, they put things on your phone as soon as you install the SD card that uh, help hack you. That they can use to help hack you. So, because the uh, com.google Android documents went on at 529. That no media went on at 5.17 and the Android uh, went on at 5.17 and the lost directory went on at 5.15. So when I put that SD card in my phone at uh, 5.10, they just went in and added to the malware or spyware what they wanted. So uh, be careful with that. 
they, they get you everywhere you go. Now, on that uh, video I made earlier, I showed you where the, this Andy's Android phone have a fun little waterproof case for my uh, little camcorder. The only thing about that little camcorder is it, uh, it doesn't have any sound because it's so little. So it doesn't have any internal speakers. So, with the SD card in there, and I noticed I put a 64 SD card in, too, and it's only giving me, um, uh, I think, for 13 hours. Now, on, uh, 32 SD card, when I had my bigger camcorder, I would get, like, 29 hours. So, for 32, for 32 GB, of course, they mess with me again. For 32 GB, but now I can only get uh, 13 hours for 64 on this little bitty camera, this little bitty camcorder. So obviously they did something they weren't supposed to do to the SD card. And I noticed the cashier that I bought this SD card from at Walgreens. They like to touch things. These aliens. I don't know. I think they're pushing stuff or activating stuff when they touch them. So, um, the other day I had to get one, a girl at, um, this, this grocery store here called Food City, that, um, uh, I stopped packing my own food, and she touched my watermelon anyway. I said, why did you touch my things? So, they do, these alien things are doing something when they touch your stuff. Because even told, I told her and the guy, don't I'll bag my own things. Both of them touch my things anyway. Uh, that Food City is a store where I went to where I saw uh, in the meat counter they had hamburger meat. It looked like hamburger meat. I don't know what it was. But it had an uh, alien head made out of that meat. So it might have been alien meat. I don't know. But uh, that video got erased off my phone. So, uh, uh, alien head in the meat counter on top of uh, what's supposed to look like hamburger meat. So, uh, this is going to be about the satanic system. In the Bible, God says these merchants with this sorcery, just putting it in our uh, food and in our products, going to pay. Um, I want to show you something else on this side. Uh, the camcorder right quick. I've been going to different stores and they've been cheating me all kind of ways. Now in Illinois, we have a 10% uh, sales tax. I think it went up a little bit more. A 10% sales tax. And um, Illinois has the highest, one of the highest taxes in the country, in the United States. Cigarette tax, liquor tax, uh, sales tax, and um, I'm not sure about the food, but the food tax was 2%. But everywhere I go, they still have the same rate of taxes, 10% or more. Um, I went to, um, now the problem with the taxes, like Walgreens. Today, when I went to Walgreens, they have a... What's the tax rate? Uh, ten point six percent. Now that's another thing. I made. I had eight hundred and ten points at Walgreens, and when I went to there today, I asked the girl, "Could I use my points?" Because it went up to thirteen sixty, and she told me no. That a thousand points is only a dollar. But if I have 1360, why can I use my dollar? And uh, they told me my total say my bills came out, my bill came out to a total of um, wow, that was a lot of tax five dollars and seventy and seven cents on fifty five dollars. But at any rate, she told me that I had on my receipt it says I saved. Uh, 27%. Now, let's see. Might have been. 
Might have been fifty five dollars, might have been twenty seven percent. But I made a video about Walgreens charging me nine dollars for a can of butane that was much smaller than this. I paid um what I pay for this? Three dollars at one of them head shops. But Walgreens charged me nine dollars for a smaller can. Walgreens been in this potato system for a long time. Now, uh, now I didn't mess with my head again. Um, Walgreens was selling cigarettes when I was in New Orleans for five, five, five dollars and sixty cents a pack. So I wanted to buy a carton, and they told me a carton would be seventy five dollars. Now, how in the hell if a pack costs five? Sixty. How could a carton go up to sixty-five, seventy-five dollars? It should have went down at least the uh, a, a, the pack is five dollars sixty cent. Uh, a carton should have been at least fifty-six dollars, but it went up. So Walgreens been in the system for a long time. Oh, I said I want to show you something else on here. Let me go back. Uh. But um, Walmart charges uh, a lot of tax. Um, n n the pro reason I have this problem with this tax is in some of the stores I've been to since I've been here in Tucson, some places charge tax and some some places don't. And they give you false receipts sometimes. Because uh, Goodwill that uh, went in been sticking me up, charging me prices, uh, uh, used clothes, new clothes prices. But Goodwill don't charge any tax. Uh, the store around the corner, a little grocery store, sticks me up too, uh, don't charge any tax. Uh, I've been to a few other places, don't charge any tax. So, how does Walmart, Walgreen, and some other places... Other, other small stores that I went in and charge tax. Now, when I was going to Walmart last week, I saw a sign out there for an election coming up that says, Vote for, vote no for state tax. So, obviously, they don't have a state tax here. So, how are these places charging me tax? So, at Walgreens today, I asked the uh, sales clerk, um, How are you charging me tax? Tax. Some places charge taxes, some places don't. Where this is South Tucson. South Tucson? You mean if you go from one part of the city to another part of the city, they can charge you almost 11% tax? I've never heard of a state tax or a city tax or a block tax. So if you go from one block to the other one, you can be charged tax in one area, and you go to another block, and they don't charge any taxes. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. Because nobody will come in this area to shop if they go right up next door in the same city and don't pay any taxes. So they lie continually about what's going on. There's uh, no way if there's a state tax, it would be a state tax. It wouldn't be from, well, Chicago has its own tax. But uh, a tax is different from north side, west side, east side, south side. It's unbelievable. But uh, this is a, a picture. I don't know if you can see it good. But this is a, a co-op that I found in uh, Tucson on Fourth Avenue. This is a co-op, and you know co-ops supposed to tell you money. They had the highest prices I've ever seen. This co-op had, um, you know, I, the things that I like to buy to detax, those are things they put the higher price on. When they know I'm looking for those things, they put the higher price on. Now, this is a picture. Like I said, this is a, this little camcorder doesn't have an internal speaker. I'm going to have to load it on the um, on the computer, but this is a picture of turmeric, and they wanted nineteen dollars for a pound of turmeric, and it's so old. I don't know if you can see it good. This turmeric is so old; it's all shriveled. 
It's brown. It's not orange like it's supposed to be. It's all shriveled up. $19 for a pound of turmeric. $7 for, let me see if I bring a picture up of this garlic. Six, seven dollars, six ninety nine. There it is. If you can look, this garlic has mold on it. See the black spot. Six ninety nine for a pound of old molded garlic. Isn't that something? Let me see what other uh, photos I have on here. Now they knew. Now they know I, I purchased garlic, ginger, and turmeric. So um, they were they have stuck in me up, but that's truly ridiculous to try to charge nineteen dollars for turmeric and seven dollars for um, garlic, a pound of garlic, and it's wrinkled, old, and molded. Now this is moon. This is a Place where I bought some cigarettes. Let me see, can I get a good? This is more. Now this is a hair shop. I thought hair shops were legal all over the United States, but they got all kind of drug paraphernalia. And I'm telling you, all these aliens are high. And Social Security office, uh, police, uh, everywhere I go, these things are on drugs. Now I went to this hair shop the first time where I bought this butane. And uh, a lighter and some cigarettes. They charge me five dollars and something for a pack of cigarettes. That's another thing they do here. Uh, they stick me up on cigarettes. So I go back about a week later to buy the cigarettes, and not even went up to seven dollars. Uh, seven dollars when they sold them to me, and the guy, I guess, who had been the manager, came out smoking a pipe. You can see him walking up and down the street smoking a pipe. Now, I don't think uh, a lot of these things around me are human that's following me now. I think most of them are wearing body suits. They're the alien. They're alien. They, they are wearing body suits. Uh, shapeshifting. I saw the video today about Jay Z uh, shapeshifting into a reptilian. But at any rate, all, everything around me is getting high now. They know it's close to the end. I guess they have to do something to soothe their nerves. But, uh, this hair shops. And it's not the only hair shop here in Tucson. I've seen another one on, um, Broadway. So, these hair shops, I, I thought they were outlawed. That you couldn't sell all kind of drug paraphernalia right in the open. Especially when you get picked up for carrying drug paraphernalia. And they got stores op open to sell drug paraphernalia. But, uh, I think that's all I wanted to do because basically I, I just wanted to see, uh, show you these, uh, stores. Where now, you know, we're not far from, uh, the border. Avocados, um, a dollar, two dollars and a half, and they're not even organic avocados. You know, uh, I, I wonder the closer to the board you get where they grow the avocados, I guess, um, the higher they go. Okay, that was my Android phone. Well, anything else, I'll make it in a later video. But, um, and turn this off. But, uh, as I said, uh, uh, they still sticking me up. And, um, there was something else I wanted to touch on. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. But, um, okay, I touch. Oh, the town is deserted. Downtown Tucson, I'm trying to make a video because I got to go to the courthouse. Because I am trying to take Social Security, uh, try to sue them again. Now, you know, my last two cases were thrown out without me even being there in the courtroom. So, I'm going to seek and I, um, bring Social Security up on charges here. And, um, uh, 
here in Tucson. Since they uh, still haven't put any money on my card uh, for this month, for November, and today is the 29th. So, um, I'll probably go, uh, if the money's not on my card by tomorrow, that means I'm going to Social Security on the 30th. No, tomorrow's 30th, that means I'm going on 31st. Because they said now that it takes 24 hours uh, before they send the money to Direct Express. So, um, that's all I'm going to touch on now. I touched on the fact that all these stores are still sticking me up. The, oh, the cheapest cigarettes that I can find here are them Eagles. And let me tell you what they did. This was uh, that cake, that cave uh, rest, uh, gas station. Super K or whatever that is. Uh, I went in there to buy cigarettes. And I asked her. Because now I see no matter what the brand is. We're still buying the same cigarettes. Whether it's Newport. Uh, it's still the same cigarettes. Just in different packaging. And with the beer too. I've been trying all different kinds of beers. The same. All of them the same. So. Since Anheuser Bush. I wonder where that Bush part came. Come in. Owns. Uh. All the beers all over the world now. Um, but. Oh, serious. Um, I went in there. And bought. As the one of the cheapest cigarettes they had. And she said five dollars or something. And they were eagles. Now, we you know. Closer to the board you get. With uh, the. Mexicans. And everybody else. And uh, no jobs. Everything's supposed to be cheap in Tucson. So she said it buy something. And I looked on the uh, box. And they were 31 cent a pack. Cheaper got to take the labels off of them. 31 cent a pack. And she charged me $5 and something. These things are so evil. A co-op. A co-op where you're supposed to go to save money. And they're charging $19 for turmeric. Really? All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, I'm going to see can I upload this. I see I had my other videos uploaded. God lets them go up when he wanted them to be seen. But, guys, God bless you. Be prepared. Be informed. Be aware. Be blessed. Like I said, this is not about being afraid. Things are coming to a close. Uh, I'll, I'll show you tomorrow. Things are coming to a close, and if you're doing the right thing, you have nothing to worry about. You know where your place will be, and you uh, will be looking forward to it. For those who are not doing the right thing, it's hell to tell the captain. All right, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.